Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So it looks like I'm doing another daily journaling video, but I'm not actually. I am doing something completely different out of my comfort zone and I thought I should post it on YouTube. I will be painting using fountain pen inks in my Hobonichi Cousin. How that's gonna turn out, I have no idea. However, I did do a test with Pilot of Roshizuku ink on the back page here. And I know there's gonna be risk of shadowing and there was shadowing, but there was no bleed through. So that is promising. Whew. I am so nervous to be doing this, but I wanted to basically really get myself out of my comfort zone and try painting in my Hobonichi Cousin and see if it's something that I do enjoy because it is something that I started doing back in October, November, and it's something that I would like to continue learning. So I'm going to do this whole video as a speed through and voiceover because I don't think I can multitask painting and talking at the same time, <laughs> no matter how hard I try. So let's get started. So I'm gonna try and talk through this process as much as I can do with the painting, but really the paintbrush that I have is actually from Amazon. I will link it in the description below. But what I'm painting here is just little what can I say? They look like tulips and it really is about the brush strokes and the specific brush stroke looked more like a teardrop. So you start from the bottom and work your way up and then go down. So kind of like an upside down J. And then uh, you can see how the ink pools at the tops of the petals and it just looks so cool when it does that. And then with these ones, these are more like the C shape, the teardrop shapes, and then adding like a little bit of uh, ink to the centers and letting it pool and then adding the green for the leaves. And these ones look more like little cherry blossoms, but this is using the Ferris Wheel Press Chidori Cherry Blossom ink. So this actually ends up pooling with a lot of shimmer. And then I'm using a little bit of the Color Roche Alpha PSC. And what I had done was actually use a dry paintbrush to take off some of that excess fountain pen ink. So then here, this is my favorite floral to paint. And I find that this particular method um, is really easy because you start really with a bigger teardrop shake and you make it fatter and fatter and then add almost thinner ones to the side and then add a little you know, C curves up at the top to add a little bit of texture and then do the same thing down at the bottom. And what you've got here is this gorgeous peony. This is my favorite flower so far to paint because I find it just so easy. And then the ink itself does all the work in terms of how it pools and how it shades. And this is where shimmering and even shading inks come alive when you use a paintbrush. You can kind of see what the, you know, what they do when it comes to fine and medium and broad uh, nibs, but in a paintbrush, the characteristics of the, the shading and the shimmer really do come out. So this is a peony using the, gosh, what purple is this? Dye Mine Amazing Amethyst, and then the Ferris Wheel Press Chidori Cherry Blossom. So I'm just adding a little one there in the corner, realizing I really didn't space it out as well as I would have liked, but I wanted to add in as many as I could. Um, to use up as much space at the bottom as I could, still leaving plenty of room at the top to write. So as you can see, there is a little bit of bleed through and shadow, but I actually don't mind that. It adds a little bit of an extra element. So what I'm then gonna do is actually paint the florals, the other florals for this page for Wednesday, Thursday up here so that I'm not putting all of the pressure here. My idea is to basically alternate where I'm placing the floral so that not all of the bleed through is on the same part of the paper, therefore weakening it, I feel like, because if I don't want the florals on one page affecting the florals on the other page with that bleed through, so I am alternating where I'm placing the florals. So here I am creating little cherry blossoms and this here I'm using Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom so you'll be able to see how the ink pools and it creates these really beautiful shimmer 
areas, <laughs> shimmering shading areas. And these ones were actually quite fun and easy to make. If you really want a more detailed tutorial of how to create these florals, I highly recommend looking up Jenna Rainey on YouTube. She has very detailed floral tutorials that I follow. And actually, while I'm doing this, you can see my iPad on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm following her tutorials as I'm doing this. So I'm basically, I basically lied to you guys and decided that uh, I won't do these at the top. I'll actually, on the left-hand side of the page, I will do the florals on the left hand side at the top whereas on the right hand side of the page I'm going to do them at the bottom and I'll alternate that way and I've decided that for design purposes I would do the same floral twice basically on on both sides of the page and they look like little purple cherry blossoms I really like that and then using my pile of kakuno to add in like the little stems and seeds in the middle and then the next floral that I'm going to do you can see me working on my iPad there I'm gonna do I'm going to do my favorite, which is the peony. I find these so simple and so easy to do. Once Jenna <laughs> broke it down for me, these are such a simple floral to do. And it really works on applying the amount of pressure to your brush and being able to lift it right at the very end so that you get the really thick stroke and then the pointed end at the top. So you get a little bit of a C curve with the stroke of the peony and the ink for this particular period peony is Taranishi Opera Rose. What I love about this particular ink though is how different it looks painted versus written. I love this ink anyway when writing with it but when I painted with it it just produced amazing different shadings. I love the way that this turned out and I'll show you at the end what it looks like when it dries beautiful. So then on the next page I decided to try something different and do, gosh I don't even remember the name of this floral, I'm gonna have to look it up, but I'm using, the, well the ink that I'm using is actually Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel and I mixed it with a little bit of Pilot Eroshizuku Tsukushi so that I could get a bit brown and I love the combination. And this one, the paint strokes that I'm using, it really is just kind of dabbing along the page and letting your wrist really do the action. So you're not moving the paintbrush really with your fingertips. You're really using your wrist to do all of the movement here. And then I'm adding some green leaves here. And the ink is actually a mix of Colorverse Alpha Pisces with the Golden Barrel. So it created this really beautiful sparkly green. I loved the combination. I decided to extend this floral further up along the page there. And when I look at it now, it actually looked better when it was just on its own. I don't know why I decided to add the, the leaves going out like that, but in the end, you know, it's an experiment. It's a, it's all a learning experience and I'm still such a newbie with the painting. So trying out different things, finding out what works and what doesn't work is all part of the experience. And there I am adding little leaves there. So then for the 21st, I decided I would try and draw these, um, oh gosh, what are they called? I am horrible with this. These Susans, these black eyed Susans, or they look like sunflowers. And these are just long teardrop strokes. So similar to the peony, but the teardrop stroke is much longer. And you do them in a way so that you are focusing on the center where the bud is and where the stem is, and then you're going to add the focus with a different ink color in the middle. My painting explanation is awful, so I apologize right off the bat here. But I liked experimenting with the different types of florals. I feel like I need more practice with this particular one, but I did love using the Golden Barrel ink here. And there's so much shimmer that came off of this once this was all dry. And there's probably going to be shimmer coming off of this page for years to come. But it was nice to experiment with this ink and see what it looks like. But I'm not completely happy with how I decided to space it out. I think I need to plan out the spacing of the florals better. But it, again, like I said, it's all an experiment. And there you saw me add like just a little bit more detail to the leaves to add a little bit more shading. And now moving on to the last page, which is the 22nd, so Sunday, I decided to just go crazy with the peonies. And I believe I used, I'm checking here to see, I used a combination of 
uh, Ferris wheel press, Chidori cherry blossom. I used the blushing mushroom from Ferris wheel press and I used Taranishi Aqua Rose. So I basically used all the inks that I could in this particular spread. And I just went crazy with the peonies. They are my favorite so far to paint, probably because I can get the most control when I do these types of strokes. So really it's creating those teardrops and then adding the C curves at the top and then adding shading where I can. The thing with painting is that it really takes practice knowing the pressure, knowing how much pressure to apply, how your paintbrush is going to react to that. But one of the things I'm also learning is that obviously fountain pen ink is not watercolor, so it is going to react differently depending on the paper, depending on the pressure and the shading. So my paintings are not gonna look anything really like watercolor paintings. This is all fountain pen ink and I'm absolutely okay with how different that looks, but I'm also okay with learning about what makes this different and how I can use those differences to my benefit. And I think that's part of this whole journey with painting in my cousin is learning about that, but also practice. And I hope to every month do this so that one, I can increase my knowledge or my uh, basically progress more with painting with the fountain pen ink but also I love the way that the page sounds when you turn the page after it's been saturated with ink. That crunchy Tomoe River paper, nothing beats that sound. So here I am just finishing up the last few leaves of the peonies. And again, if, I, if you haven't heard it already, I highly recommend looking up Jenna Rainey. I will leave a link to her channel in the description below because she is who really helped me with beginning and here I'm just adding the last few details to each of the florals to add a little bit more dimension. Oh, love it. So now I'm just gonna take you guys through a quick flip through of what the pages look like before I write in them. So there's Monday and Tuesday, and yes, you can see the bleed through, but I actually don't mind it too, too much. It's not like wrecking the page. It adds a little bit of color actually. And then I will be writing in it with, um, my Pilot Kakuno and it has Pilot Orochizuku Takesumi. So it's going to be a black ink so that the focus is really on the painted florals. But I really like how that's at the bottom. And then what I've done so that I'm not painting right over that is actually changing up where I've put the florals because I feel like if I had painted over this section, it would have affected how these florals looked and I didn't want to do that. So I changed up the position of where I painted the florals and I love this. The Taranishi Opera Rose just transformed into this gorgeous color. And then on the next page, I used Golden Barrel and I love the combination of mixing Golden Barrel with that Colorverse uh, Alpha Pisces. It turned into this really pretty uh, shimmery color. And then the last page, I love those peonies. I'm really excited to be able to journal in it. And I mean, I, I really don't mind the bleed through. I know some people really mind that, especially here, but I think once I journal with it, once I journal in it with my Pilot Kakuna with that black ink, I think you won't notice it as much, but I will show you guys once it's all done. So I hope this gave you guys just some idea of how you can still paint with fountain pen ink in your journal. I, I was really nervous about how it turned out and I'm still a little nervous as to how it will turn out when I actually journal it in it. So we'll see you guys in a week once this is done. So here is my finished journal. I actually don't mind some of the shadow and bleed through because the ink colors on the other side do match the ones that are on this side. So it adds a little bit of decoration, but I decided to stick with the black ink for the week just so that the focus can be on the painted um, 
painted decoration really and I like how it all blends together even the yellow on the other side I know that some that would bug some people but it really doesn't it for me it adds that extra bit of decoration and I think the black ink was the right choice for this week and then I'm at, I've added in some photos and I even used some of the areas that had a little bit more white space in there to add photos but I really think it turned out well for my first experiment of painting in my Hobonichi Cousin with fountain pen inks. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Is this something that you guys would try? If so, let me know in the comments below. Or is this something that you think, no, I can't, I don't like the shadow, I don't like the bleed through. Let me know all of your thoughts below. And if this is something that you wanna see me do, monthly because I do plan to do this monthly in my Hobonichi Cousin. If you want me to film it and show a video of this process, please let me know. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It feels like it's been a big couple of weeks of doing things outside of my comfort zone, but I'm happy to take you guys with me. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.